Publisher Rocket is a great software to use when you're creating your books. There's so many different ways you can use it for finding categories, for searching for keywords, looking for keywords to use for Amazon advertising. But what happens if we're able to combine ChatGPT with Publisher Rocket to be a bigger force than ever when we're trying to create our Amazon KDP books? If you haven't been to this channel before, welcome. My name is Romney, and what I want to do in this video is to explore the opportunity of combining ChatGPT, our AI software that is going gangbusters across the world, how can we use that in combination with Publisher Rocket to use both platforms to find niches, to create low content books? How can they work together to create a great result for us? Now, if you haven't used Publisher Rocket before, then make sure you check it out. I've got a link below in the description that will take you directly there. And I've got heaps of other YouTube tutorials about Publisher Rocket and the best way of using them to do niche research and all that sort of thing. So let me jump onto ChatGPT and I'll also get onto Publisher Rocket onto my dashboard and let's just have a play around. Let's see how powerful these are in combination and it'll be great to see if we can use both to find those key niches and to do our keyword research for books that potentially have the opportunity of doing really well on Amazon KDP. Let's get into it now. So the first thing I want to do is we, we want to use Publisher Rocket to help to validate a niche. And we're also going to use ChatGPT to help with that niche validation, plus create any chapters we might need, or if you're doing a low content book, how it might be structured and the description. We might be able to try and find some keywords as well, and even based on the category. So how can we combine and bring together both Publisher Rocket and Chat GPT the most effectively? So I had been searching a couple of days ago and I found a topic or a niche area around, I say, airplane books for kids and introducing them to plane flight for the first time. So there might be some anxiety around that for kids. So if we wrote, uh, so we do airplane books for kids new to flying. So we just do that and then this will come up with the results. So at the moment there's 60 results. Normally what we're looking for is the number of books under 150 BSR. On the total searches we want less than say a thousand if possible. On this one, this was a sponsored one so we're not going to count that. We've got one, two, it's not really about airplane books for kids. It's about paper airplane books, those ones. Uh, 148, that's one. Uh, let's keep going. That's one as well. 12,000. So that's a sponsored one, but we could probably use something like that. So I might use that one as an example. So if we go back up here and we're going to write... going on an airplane and here it is right here so it's ranked at uh, 12,397 and there's another similar book that's sponsored so that was that's interesting if we hold it over here that was published on the 18th of 18th of August 22 this one was published uh, in 2021 so I think this person has tried to sort of Maybe look at replicating that book a little bit, just the way it's done. But I don't want to click on that sponsored. I don't want them to, to pay for it. So what we're going to do is click here. We're going to get a few ideas. Go to Publisher Rocket. Use ChatGPT. So what we might do is we can go to Rocket. So we're going to bring up Rocket now. And I'm going to bring this across. Bring it open. We're going to go to keyword search. So if you haven't used Publisher Rocket before, powerful tools you can use to do keyword research, competitor analyzer, category searches, uh, keywords for Amazon advertising, and there's plenty of tutorials. 
but let's just go back to keyword search. So airplane uh, book for toddlers. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do, we go to this button just here and we're going to find out what the competitive score is. So the competitive score is when you've got um, under, I'm sorry, 100 is the most competitive, one is the least competitive. So it's got a lot of search results here. And competitive score is not too bad. So if we go to the uh, com competition analyzer, we've got the book right here. And what we can do is have a look and see it's doing quite high on the monthly sales. My first book of airplanes amazing airplanes, my first airplane ride. So these are the sort of ones that I was thinking about doing. Okay, we are going on an airplane, 865. If we have a look at this one right here, then what we're going to do is go to chat GPT. So at 24 reviews, let's have a look inside, see how easy it is for us to make. Looks quite easy to make. All right, so that's interesting to see how that all works. So what we're going to do, we're going to use some of this information to use in ChatGPT. So what we're going to do is copy that. We're going to go to ChatGPT. And what we might actually do is we might go back and just have a look at the information of that book. And I want to capture some of this information. Go, there's another book that I did see. This one here. Okay, that's that one there. It's a little bit less with the information. We might go back again. We'll go back to that original book, which is this one. We might go down to there and we might copy this information. Right, uh, don't worry about that. We're going to go to here, copy it, and go to Chat GPT. And I'm going to say create, uh, let's go seven book chapters for uh, using the following information. Because there's a number of keywords in there that we could potentially use. So let's just see what it comes up with. Okay, so that's chapter number one. So what this actually does, it provides you with different chapters that you can consider when you're creating a book. So a short information, a short amount of information from a description can then help it to create different chapters for your book. And this could be a great opportunity for you to work through what might work for a book for children if you're creating a, about flight anxiety. So here we are, dealing with anxiety and fear, explanation of how to deal with anxiety and the fear during the flight, simple tips and tricks, conclusion. We're going back on to chapter four, which is the flight. So this will actually give us, if we copy all of this information, and we go to a Word document. We can actually copy that information and then we can start to use this information as well for what we're wanting. Now, so what, what we've done to begin with, we've gone to publish a rocket. We first had a look at the keywords. Then we went into the competition analyzer. You might also find some other books that you've that you could use. So this book right here. So let's go to check this one out. So what we're again going to do is go to have a look at this. We might go, we might have a look at, might, don't worry about grandma waiting with a hug, but what we might do is copy that, go back here, uh, please create a 80 word book description using a similar description as the following and make it 
engaging. So what we do is put that in there, enter, and then this will now create a book description. So here we go. Get your little one ready for a thrill, thrilling adventure with their first airplane ride. Introduce them to the excitement of watching planes take off and land, walking through security, finding the perfect seat, soaring high in the sky. So then you can use that information to either create it as a description, but make sure you put your own information in there to make it engaging. So we can write description here. But it also helps us with creating um, creating a framework around our book. Now, what I'd always recommend you to do is to go through and change a few things around so it's not just AI generated. You want to put your own thoughts and feelings into this. You don't just want to have books that are completed and generated by AI technology, but it just demonstrates the power of being able to do it this way as well. So, so far, we've got an introduction Sorry, uh, we've got the chapters, we've got a description. Let's go back to Publisher Rocket. What we can also do is we can do an AMS keyword search as well. So what are customers also searching for? So we can copy that. We go to AMS search. We'll try it again. We're going to keep it under books. Let's have a look and see what people are searching for that can be used for Amazon advertising. So these are the different AMS keyword searches. This also includes the ASIN and uh, ISBN, the author. You can export this so it comes out in a spreadsheet. If there are some books here that don't, um, so for example, Family Trip, if you didn't want to export that detail, we get rid of it there. Where do diggers say I love you? We get rid of that one, peekaboo. So there are going to be ones that aren't suitable but you might think okay let's have a look at this one as well so we might copy this we might go to chat gpt say list keywords for marketing uh, using the following title or book title right and then this can help us as well. So it's about to do it. So this will list off some keywords that might be suitable to also include in your back-end keywords. It could be to do with Amazon advertising. These aren't the best keywords. I think there probably would be better ones you could use, but I really do like the opportunity of using all of this in combination. You've got Publisher Rocket, you can use that for your keyword search. Also get the competition analyzer. You can also do any category searches as well. And then your AMS keyword search. We can then use those keyword searches and competition analyzers to go to ChatGPT to create an outline for our book, to create the description, to find out some keywords that we can use for our seven backend keywords. But remember, always always double check things. What you need to be careful of is just copying and pasting this. You do not want to infringe on any copyright, trademark. You just want to make sure you put your own thoughts and feelings into it to make it work for you. But in combination, it's going to be extremely powerful for you to research niches, to create your book descriptions, to find keywords, and in combination with Publisher Rocket, It'll be fantastic. And just remember that if you do want to purchase Publisher Rocket, just to check out the links below, and it's all going to be there. Plus, there's a bonus with an extra keywords tutorial that is facilitated by Publisher Rocket for using my special links. And make sure you take advantage of that as well. That's quite an amazing way that we've been able to find a way to use Publisher Rocket in combination with ChatGPT. And the more data that is fed into chat GPT, the better this is going to become in the years to in the years that follow. But make sure, always make sure when you're using any AI technology, you check out if you're going to have commercial use for that information that you're getting, that you're not infringing on any copyright or trademark, 
and you're using it to your advantage without compromising anything to do with your account. Use it sensibly, use it to your advantage, use it to save time. But you can see how powerful it was when we used it with Publisher Rocket. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure if you have, that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to providing more info about publishing in my next video. So until then, I'll see you later on.